I think the next thing that we want to do is to figure out how to reconstruct these four half circle located at the four corner over here. Um, so I'm going to zoom in this one. So as always, the first thing I need to figure out is the center of this so, uh, half circle. And to do that, I'm going to use this um, three point circle tool to trace it. So selecting my first point, second point, and then last point. If you select that circle, we see that's the center. And it looks to me, well, it's located at some distance from this circle that we have. So let's try to figure out what that distance is. So I'm going to use the two point circle tool. And actually, let's go back here. Yep, two point circle tool. I'm going to select the center and then I'm going to draw a circle with the point located at that center. Now, I know that if I know the diameters or the size of this circle, then I can figure out the center of this bigger circle, right? So let's do something interesting. So I'm going to copy this circle. And I'm going to try to move it around and see if it fit in either of these sections that we already have constructed. So it's either tension or um, equal to or at the proportion to some of the geometry that we already have constructed. So it looks like, no, it's not quite fitting in there. It's, this is too big. Yep, not here either. Not here either. Now, it looks like it's, I'm guessing it's half the size of this section right here. So I put it right there. It's about half. So let, let's try that to see if that's give us what we want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to construct a circle that fit inside that section. So I'm using this two point circle tool and set up center and point. And my first point is going to be right there and then my second point is going to be right here. Now that's a full size. I want only half of that. So I'm going to do the same thing again using the same tool. Select the first point and then the second point is going to be in the center. Right there. Yep, that's right. That's that right at the center. And then we're going to grab this using copy tool. And try to move it back here and see how that match what we want. It's quite close. Yeah, it's very close. So I'm going to use that. Yeah, it actually is it's perfect. If I zoom in, you can see it's right on the edge. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to get rid of this circle that we trace earlier. And also I'm going to get rid of this one too. We don't need that anymore. So so now we know where the center of this circle is. Um, the next thing we have to figure out is the size. And to do that, I'm going to follow the same approach. I'm going to use this tray circle, copy, and try to move it around to see how it's fitting inside the existing geometry. This doesn't fit in there. So I'm 
seeing something interesting here. So it look like my best guess is that if I was to draw a circle with the center point located at this intersection right here and tension to these two edge, it may get me what I want. So if I just drop it in there, you can see what I'm talking about. Right, so the center is the intersection between this line and this circle and then tension to these two curves. So let's try that. I'm gonna leave it there for now. And I come over here, use the circle tool and choose my center point to be right there. And I'm gonna make sure it, it tension right there. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna grab this and then copy it and move it over. I know the center is right here. It's perfect. Right there. Yep. There we go. So now we can get rid of this trade circle. And we can also get rid of this. So there we have it.